Hey guys! Hope you're doing great. This is a compilation of video and photos I took during Zorro's clutch hatching this year. Yeah, she had 16 eggs hatching, and so this is just video I took during the hatching process and a few photos, so I just thought I'd show it to you. You guys take care. Have a great day! Hi guys! Okay, so just another update. As you can see, we have three pipping now. We have this guy right here in the center who is looking at me. <laughs> and there's his head. And then we have two amels that are pipping right now. So nobody's out of their egg yet. This guy's starting to get kind of curious. And he's looking around. <laughs> so there isn't too much to report yet. Um, this guy's starting to look around. He's flicking his tongue back and forth and trying to see the world, I guess. <laughs> so, not much else to report right now. We still have these three and nobody else has started pipping yet, but it'll just be a matter of time. I would guess in a couple more hours we may see one more head poking out. So, when I when you when I see something new, I'll go ahead and and video again. So, you guys take care. Well guys, just another check in here. As you can see, I think one of them is leaving his egg. <laughs> or else he's exploring. I don't know if he's going to go back into his egg or not. But he looks like he's trying to get down underneath the rest of the eggs. And we'll see if he comes back up or not. Kind of looks like he might be leaving his egg. But you never know. Sometimes they go part way out and then they come back in. But... Well, it looks like he's might be leaving. He seems to be wanting to explore under the eggs there, so we'll see what happens here. Up oh, there comes his little head. So it looks like he's halfway out of his egg and he's just now he's just kind of exploring. Hello little guy. What you doing? You gonna bite me? Well, I think curiosity has the better of him now. It looks like he's going to be leaving his egg. He wants to explore. Okay, well here's our first baby out of the egg. It's a little uh, Amel. Or not Amel, sorry, it's a little normal. And he's He's probably one of the calmest hatchlings I've seen in a long time. He's not trying to bite me or anything. Very curious little fellow, so... Um, there we have it. Just a nice little guy. Here's another one checking out the world. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to mind being in my hand at all. 
Very cute little email. Looks like she could almost be motley. So we'll have to, by the spots on her neck, we'll have to see when she comes out if she has more of a motley. Uh, well, it's very looks looks very motley to me, but um, not positive. Anyway, she's just coming out, looking at looking at the world here. I think I'm gonna set her down, and because um, I think she may end up coming fully out of the egg here, so I'm gonna cut the camera for a minute and set her down. As you can see, she's still partially in her egg, but. I think curiosity has gotten the better of her and she has decided to go exploring. Probably wondered where her brother disappeared to. And speaking of her brother, I see him. <laughs> Come here little buddy. Okay, so there's her brother, and there she is, and she's still partially in her egg. Her egg is right here by my finger. And there you can see she's just about done exiting her egg. Very pretty little email. Now I haven't hatched that many clutches, but this is my third year hatching corn clutches. And um this is the calmest clutch I've experienced so far. They're not afraid of me. They're not trying to bite me. They're just really curious about me. And what I try to do is I try to interact with them a little bit before they come out of the egg so they see my hands and they hear my voice. Now, a lot of people say snakes can't hear, but actually I've read studies that say they can actually hear audible sound within 10 feet. So I do talk to them, and if they can't hear my voice, they can at least feel the vibration of my voice. And sometimes I think that makes for a calmer snake. Maybe it's just my imagination. <laughs> but, okay, and she is out of her egg. And there's her tail. Very pretty. Pretty little Amo. Her mother is a anery. She looks like a charcoal. And their father is an Amel Motley Stripe. So we're going to have a combination of normals and Amels in this clutch. And I don't know if the, the Motley is going to carry through or not. She almost looked Motley there for a few minutes, the earlier part of her body. But now I'm looking at the back end and looks like a more of a normal AML type marking so anyway that's that little girl now so we've had two come out of the eggs in just the last few minutes okay I'm gonna turn off the camera and when something else happens I'll be back <laughs>
say hello? Hello? Well, you're sure cute. You're just a wee little thing. You're very, very cute. How about if we put you back in with the rest of the eggs, okay? Because we you gotta go back in here. There you go. There you go, little one. You stay there. <clears throat> you have more brothers and sisters that have to hatch. 